there's no standard mm -hmm. so how could you live without standard and turn mm -hmm. around and want to implement standard we are back for another episode of marriage matters it's it, it's been a, a hectic few weeks but i'm grateful that we're here and we're back and we're able to uh deliver another discussion for you guys today uh i am your uh host shane alongside mr authors on this side you know take a take a listen take a drink and make sure you share with others as we go into today's episode and we are going to be talking about the battle of the body count it is something that a lot of people i think think about wrestle and and and, and i think it, it's good to 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 get a fresh perspective when we're thinking about the body count um and i, I definitely we we have a few videos today that we want to we want to react to um yeah and 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 and, sh and share but before we get there we had a question before we got on camera like how much is too much <laughs> yeah so, so I, tell, I don't know what you think how much is too much man i mean <laughs> yeah that that's a that's a a, a difficult question to answer because mm -hmm. i don't think that one should be reckless in trying mm -hmm. to get as much body count numbers as you can. While at mm -hmm. the same time, I don't think that when you love someone, uh, you don't go and ask, well, so how many people have you been with? Because if it's mm -hmm. more than one, more than two, then mm -hmm. it's it's yeah, I, I I don't I don't think that that it's a good mm -hmm. thing to be counting in that in that fashion. It's a, a a question that I do think a few people or maybe we may have in the back of their mind and I, I I remember um this was years ago we were having a I was having a discussion with some a few people and um uh, this one young lady said I I think it's unfair she said I think it's unfair that someone was saving was keeping themselves pure right never um slept with anybody he said I think it's unfair that that person meets somebody uh that they like and this person has been around the block. Everybody has a right to their opinion, but you know, is it really unfair? It's it's a question that it's hard to put mm -hmm. in in one basket and and you mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. just to look mm -hmm. through one tunnel mm -hmm. because there are many different uh, situations that can come into play here. For me, when you begin to ask about body count and you begin to discuss body count, one of the first things come to mind for me is one place in Emmanuel where. They caught this lady. She was caught mm. in, I think, prostitution. They were ready to pull stones and to, yeah, to, to belt her to death with stones. Yeah, and her, yeah, they were ready to end her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this was the law, so they weren't doing anything mm. outside the law. Mm -hmm. And the manufacturer looked at them and asked, "Well, I don't have a problem for you guys to stone her to death. So let's do it this way: you who have never ever committed any wrong." In your life, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you throw the first stone. After that, everybody else can 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 finish mm -hmm. her off. Mm -hmm. And the guys they they turned around and left. So I want to say that a person discussing body count mm. should make sure mm. that mm. that person's mm. body count is low. If you're a virgin, I can kind of understand you. You're saying that you want a low body count from someone, right? But right again, you can be a virgin and marry someone with a low body count. But that mm -hmm. brings my my another question that I have to the spotlight. Another question I I I have here is who's asking? Because mm. if the male is asking and is if if the male is a person with the standards when it comes to body count, all right, you have a standard. If the female is asking, that mm -hmm. is one of the most important questions she can ask. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the positives of understanding body count. Mm -hmm. Why say that? Why of the many people you have slept with, no one is for the long haul. No one mm. has chosen you. The higher mm. your body count, the worse it is for you. Mm. Because why Why no one wants to stay with you? Something is wrong. Mm -hmm. And that female would be making a grave mistake to jump mm. with someone that has a high body count and mm -hmm. uh, without doing a proper search. Another yeah. problem with having a high body count is what is your way of thinking? Mm. Do you feel that it is okay to just go and sleep around with anybody you meet? Mm. Then why would you be faithful to me? Um, and so, yeah, there's a lot of things that can come up even even when you begin to discuss the the, the details of body count. Yeah, and you know, I'll, I'll add this. I mean, I guess we can get into our videos for today. I I like that you 
the question like who is asking because what a what a big what a hypocrisy for you to be demanding or saying hey uh this amount of body count that doesn't cut it as a guy but you have a body count that's higher or around the same thing that's hypocrisy yep or or the, you know it it, it 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 it's it's like and and I've been encountering this as in different uh relationships as I talk with people is like and my question to people in relationships when they're having issues are you demanding a standard you're not willing to give if yeah. you are expecting a standard and demanding a standard you are not giving or willing to give then that's unfair all right yeah. that is very unfair and, and if you and 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 the other thing is if it's a like you said from the woman's perspective if she she that's one of the most important questions she can ask because also one of the reality is that guy could be bringing baggage in i i, I baggage is not maybe the best word to say Mm -hmm. Um, but he, you know, he may have a kid or two, you know, that, that, that's a result of all of the, uh, promiscuity. He may be involved in some of their lives, maybe not, but you know, it's all the things you want to be thinking about. And lastly, um, you know, anybody can change, minds can change, hearts can change. And, right. and, and, and they could sincerely generally be a guy who wants to just say, look, I'm, I've had enough and I want to, I want to go far the right way. So there, there are all these different things. It's not so black and white. There's there, there are many nuances that comes with this topic, and there are many nuances that come. And we're hoping to work through some of those today. All right. So yes, I, I yeah. So let's let's check out our first video. Anything above fifteen is too much. That's okay. that's an insecurity of coming from you. So men, we don't have any insecurities when it comes to picking a woman with a low body count. What if I said that? You're insecure for picking a guy that's taller than you. I, I would like to, to stop there and look at that. The, the first statement made here says anything above 15 is too much. <laughs> I I personally think that that's a very low standard, not when it comes to females, but when it comes to males. Mm. And hopefully later on, I can explain why not when it comes to female. If you're a male and you have 15 that you have been sleeping with, Above 15, then what are you doing? What what are you doing? Why are you with so many people? And so that's the first problem that I, I see here talking about mm. body count. Mm. If you have been sleeping and sleeping, and sleeping, why are you moving mm. from person to person? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You, no, you have no need to sleep with 15 persons, you know? Is it that everybody mm. you sleep with die? So mm. every time you have to get another one? Is it that... Mm. Every person you sleep with gets fed up with you. Mm. Is it that sleeping with people for you is as simple as going to the movies? So there's mm. a question there that 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 shows you that the standard, uh, just saying that shows that there's a very low standard. Yeah, and I think in the context, it was the guy that was saying anything about 15 for a female is too much, right? Yeah, if I, if that's I, what I if think. If I understand it correctly, which, which again, like, I mean... It just comes back to what justifies the the number, the difference in number for a female or a male. You know, it's just one of those things that I think is kind of hypo hypocritical. I would personally. like to answer that though. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I would I would like to take that on. That's a very powerful question, <laughs> and one that that might seem biased in the way I answer it, but I think it's best I answer it now. There's a big difference between a lady having 15 partners for me and a male having 15 partners, mm, mm. being with 15 different partners. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I look at the curse. The curse says <laughs> that your desire will mm. be for your husband and he will rule over you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if a lady finds one man that is good, one man that is a good husband, that will be the only man she knows for the rest of her life. When you see a lady needing to jump from man to man to man to man to man when you see that happening each person that she has met in my opinion is a shame on them because if they are a good husband she will never leave you see mm -hmm. and then that leads into many other things for example mm -hmm. the standards we have they are very low yeah the second second thing that was said in the video the guy said um you might like someone that is taller how could someone Liking someone that is taller be compared to someone <laughs> sleeping around. <laughs> so where is your standard? And yeah. who creates the standard? So so let me let me slip this one in. 
who decides what's right and wrong? I believe that is the job of the manufacturer, the person that made us, determines what is right and what is wrong. So here we have a society that is the world's system today. Yeah. It is actually the system of the world. You mm -hmm. will see this in mm -hmm. movies. You will see this in songs mm -hmm. where you meet someone and you go to bed with them. There's no standard. Mm -hmm. So how could you live without standard and turn mm -hmm. around and want to implement standard? Ah. <laughs> That's a huge hey, thing. That was, a, that was a bomb right there. How can you... You're not living by standards and you want to come and implement... A, come on, man. That's good. That's That's good. Yeah, how, how can you? And and so so if you're free to sleep around, then you will have high body counts. Mm -hmm. Now, if if that lady met a man who was worth his salt as a husband, and that man says, I love you, you are my queen. Mm -hmm. And she so loves him and she's used to giving herself to men because she feels that that is her, her, her highest sacrifice that she can show. She loves right. them. I'm not saying this is the way you show, but that is what she believes. A mm -hmm. good man will say, you know what? A good husband will say, you know what? I will not sleep with you because you value more to me than just one night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a ring on your finger. Mm -hmm. I want you with me for the rest of our lives. Mm -hmm. And so, again, women being promiscuous and sleeping around is because men are promiscuous too. Mm -hmm. And if you meet a good man, he will not sleep with you. He will do things the right way according to the way how the manufacturer has set it. Mm -hmm. And that is the respect. I believe that a man has high respect for a lady when he says, you know what? I will not sleep with you until I put a ring on your finger. And when that man is willing to, to sleep with you and live with you and, mm -hmm. and not mm -hmm. marry you, I believe there's a higher level of respect that can go out mm -hmm. to a lady. I think too, that's on that last point. It speaks to to his value system and and it speaks yeah. to even how he values you as a person where 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 ultimately lies the things he cares about in, in in a relationship but on that point that you talked about going around implementing standards when you were not living by any standard uh as i was looking at a video i was thinking along the same lines like there are all these like where is the rule and and i'll tell you there is a standard just like in anything else that's created yeah. Why and, and the word we use the word manual anything your 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 um cell phone or our our microphones our devices I can't mm -hmm. take this microphone and uh and 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 just uh try to connect it to my refrigerator or you get you know or or or, or, or to the micro like it's like that sounds stupid and right. it's because the microphone comes with instructions to be used mm -hmm. within its proper context. That's right. It it, it it comes with specifications. It comes with a design for a purpose. And I, I want to say there is a standard when it comes to sex. There's a this it's standard. And yep. we have all these there there well, I don't know what the population is on the earth now. I know it's it's well over probably seven billion by now, or well over eight billion. Mm -hmm. And could you imagine eight billion perspectives on sex? Wow. Then what do we do? What do we do? Mm -hmm. And and that's one of the crises that the world is in today. Everybody wants to do what's right in their own eyes. Yeah. But I want to I want to just say that the manual has the standard for yeah. for for sex, and it is meant to be celebrated and uh, enjoyed in the context of 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 one man and one woman. Right. And therein lies the benefits and the blessings, you know. So I'll I'll stop there on that point. Let's get back to our video. <laughs> Like, it's your preference. It's something that's innate in you. So it's like you choosing a guy that's taller than you is because that comes with taller. If you peel back the layer, it comes with security, protecting. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So a girl with a low body count, it comes with fertility. It comes with peer bonding. It comes with, okay, less baggage, less relationships, less, less stuff, less baggage that she's bringing into the relationship. So it's not. I'm sorry. It's just foolishness. As if to say, only a woman with a high body count uh, has the probability of bringing baggage into a marriage. You also have a probability and high probability of bringing baggage into into whatever relationship too for a high body body count. Why? Okay. That's stupid. That's stupid. I, I like, want to address that. Go ahead. <laughs> I want to just let me tell you why the men many times don't have baggage because they don't take care of their kids. Mm -hmm. 
they leave mm -hmm. the kids totally mm -hmm. and solely on mm -hmm. the mother mm -hmm. because they can have sex and walk away mm -hmm. and the mother is left with that pregnancy left with that yeah. child she would have to be the one to decide to abort a child and he mm -hmm. would go off and leave her regardless of what it costs to have that baby if she has to do a c-section it doesn't matter if she needs a mm -hmm. crib he she needs to feed it doesn't matter to him so he believes mm -hmm. he and i'm not saying about this guy that's making the statement i don't yeah yeah, yeah sure 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 and and there is some value to the point of if you want somebody taller you're talking about security and yeah yeah, you, yeah. Try to, you might you might prefer that and nothing is wrong with preferring that yeah yeah um but i just want to say that that talking about baggage and a child is not a baggage if a man sees your child as baggage mommy run it's easy to think of baggage just in one dimension of just the, the children but uh, and to his uh, credit, I'll say, uh, he talks about bonding and different things, mm -hmm. which I want to say that baggage goes beyond us having kids. The 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 emotional uh, baggage, sometimes the the dysfunction of intimacy that you that you can be restored from, but until that point, that's also a form of baggage. You 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 are dysfunctional when it comes to intimacy. Yeah, you, you become dysfunctional when it comes to commitment on a whole because of just the way you've been living, and that I think is equal for both male and female. So it's not just it's not just the seen baggage; it's the unseen, the emotional, the mental, right? Yeah, the, the soul part. Because what a lot of people fail to understand about sex is that when you sleep with somebody, you are not just only physically connecting. Even if you are not saying you're feeling anything emotionally, it's more than a physical connection. And that's one of the realities and the dangers of, of, of a high body count. I agree with you. Um, and, and it goes back again to standards. So you want to ignore the manufacturer standards. You want to sleep with everybody that you meet. And, and you are doing this. You should not be behind the wheels of a car when you are drunk for safety. And mm -hmm. these guys right now are talking importantly about safety. But how do mm -hmm. people meet? They go in a bar, get drunk, and end up mm -hmm. in a hotel room. Mm -hmm. They can't tell what, they can't even count their fingers. Mm -hmm. But they are choosing a mate. A mate mm -hmm. that they have no clue mm -hmm. in any way about. And it's just, where, what we just want to have a fun time. Mm -hmm. And so, mm -hmm. where's the standard? But I want to say that Without any compromise here, baggage is a negative word. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sir, yeah. for sure. Sir, if you find a lady and you believe she has baggage, then do not interfere with that lady because no mm -hmm. child is baggage. If there's mm -hmm. any baggage, it's a man that is not good, a, a, mm -hmm. a husband that is not good. Mm -hmm. You should never look on a baby and call a baby baggage. How can mm -hmm. you treat that baby as your own child? And let that mm. baby grow up with somebody who is a father to him or her mm -hmm. who loves that child. Mm -hmm. And you are calling that child baggage. Mm -hmm. You, you, mm. you, you are being very selfish. And I'm not, I'm not that that is not the intention uh, uh, mm -hmm. of these guys, but I'm mm -hmm. saying a person that goes around and look and w is willing to take a person's mom, but considers their child as baggage. They are a package. That's right. They are a package. It's... And if you don't want baggage, <laughs> fine. But you know, that child is not baggage. It's crazy. And I'll, I'll say this last thing so we could finish the video and move on. Mm -hmm. um, I was recently in a, in a um, forum, a family a family setting forum. Mm -hmm. uh, and we had these amazing panelists. Uh, we had a great moderator and we had great questions wow. that were posed to these panelists. It, it, went, it went well. Um, one of the cases that came out, the lady said, I, I, I've been lonely, I think, for like so many years. Mm -hmm. Finally met a guy. And and I I I can't I don't remember if she revealed the age, but I I, I would think her her kids were already um, adults and probably still living at home or around or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, he's she said, I'm lonely. I think for like 15 years met this guy, but he's saying I gotta get I gotta get rid of my kids. <laughs> wow. Uh, she was like, panelists, wow. please help. What do I do? And I was like, man, that's that's tough. Like you and I, one of the ladies who are on the panel said, "I'm sorry. He, he if he loves you and he met met you with your kids, then he gotta understand the kids come with you." My advice, lovingly, to a female <laughs> that gets that question uh, or or that mm. that that in that position, that, yeah, 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 you're placed in that 
run run <laughs> in the opposite direction <laughs> you need to have you do not need any more conversation i'm sorry you do not need to have any more conversation it is finished mm. you are better single mm. sir the first thing that is required from a man is sacrifice and you are being warned i don't know if you are picking up the in the the, the warning mm. but you are being warned mm. that this mm. person will not sacrifice you might hmm. barely be enough for this person to sacrifice for much less your picnic yeah. or your child. Yeah. Picnic is a is a Creole word for child, no? Mm -hmm. Um no 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 run. Hmm. Run. Wow. <laughs> that that needs okay. no other discussion, no from the time you heard that, if you were dating <laughs> and you're at the restaurant, you take out your money, even if you he wants to pay for it, you pay for a meal, you catch a taxi mommy, and you go home. <laughs> Uh, waiter, finished. yeah, later it's finished. I'm sorry. All right, <laughs> and and we're I'm not trying to hit what they're saying mm -hmm. because within what they're saying, there's also a uh, reality and truth. So if a guy, a person, male or female, that has a high body count, they actually have a higher probability of having diseases. So mm -hmm. this is another thing that you have to look at. But yeah, that's what that's what they were saying too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you can have one sexual intercourse with a person that has a sexually transmitted disease and now you have it. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's so that you, one time. Yeah, you can have a low body count of one and you have it. And what happens to someone <laughs> oh, that, that, that that has had has been <laughs> and <laughs> the person that did it has uh that is not that person's fault. Mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. if you if you the man really love a woman. Mm -hmm. then you will not be talking this way. Now I understand mm -hmm. that you need to have standards. That is wise in terms of diseases. And so yeah. you have tests that you can run. You can get tested. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if mm -hmm. you love a person, you will not be discussing this sort of thing. That's, that doesn't show well for a male. But it is something that is necessary so that you can walk safely. But again, we come back down to this the first question. If you have no standards. You have multiple body count. And unless you have married and divorced and married and divorced, you're sleeping around with people and you're not married to them. So you have low standards. And now you come and you are suddenly an angel. This is a problem. Yeah. It's not wise for either gender to have a high body count. It's not, you know, it because I think that's that's one of my one of my biggest beef with with how sometimes it comes off. Like yeah. it's okay for guys to have a high body count and this and the, but it, but when it's women it's like it's more it's 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 terrible in the terms of the effects because if we just take the context of std mm -hmm. are we are we saying only females can get stds <laughs> yeah yeah you know it it yeah it both parties can get stds yep All right and and you made a very good point it could have been the one time <laughs> yep it could have been the one time, you know, it could have been the one time. So, yeah. Yep. yep. And, and and I just want to say, I agree sure. with you totally that for none of the two, a high body count is good. Yeah, it's, it's, it's neither for male nor female. I mean, I mean, we talk a lot about cars on this podcast and, and we use cars a lot for analogy. Mm -hmm. And when someone is looking for a car, especially, you know, most people we're, we're buying used cars right one of the things that we're mostly concerned about what's the mileage yeah what's the mileage uh what kind of damage did it take was it a was it a rear hit was it was it a a, a front on hit was the a-frame damage on the front and we mm -hmm. we ask questions now that despite the condition we know it can go into the shop and, and be repaired but mm -hmm. mileage my friend mileage is like they'll tell you oh that car has over 150,000 and it's so and so nah don't 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 purchase that now we're not saying people can't be restored and there's not second chances but my my point is if we think about high mileage and high body count yeah like the the, the lower the better right <laughs> <laughs> yeah i agree That's... it's like you're saying it's it's not a question of value mm -mm. because mm -mm. unlike a car mm -hmm. Or, or even with a car. I have seen old cars that have been made from 1960 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that are that cost more than brand new vehicles after That's they have right. been restored. That's right. 
That's you right. know, and, and so when it comes to value, even for a car, it doesn't change. It doesn't have to change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It might not be mm -hmm. valuable to someone, but that doesn't mean it's not valuable. And as human beings are valued, it doesn't change. Mm -hmm. Our mm -hmm. value doesn't That's change right. as human beings. Every right. value, everyone has the same equal value. Right. Yeah. You I, might be less. Good point. You might be less desirable because of what you do to yourself and how you keep yourself. Mm -hmm. Um. But that does not change your value. The man on the street, the man in the castle, both carry the same value. The color of your skin doesn't matter. Whether you're tall or you're short, we all carry the same value. But I would like to say. Mm -hmm. Um, in terms of this body count thing that if you have a high body count, that is evidence that you have been sleeping around. That is evidence that you have very poor standards mm -hmm. and poor ability to maintain a, a long relationship. That's what high body count says. You have been sleeping around, male or female. Yes. That's what it says. I, I'm so glad you said that because that pushes against the grain of how glorified it is in the world. I, I'll tell you, bro, I, I remember being around uh, a cer certain circle of friends in the past and one guy was boasting like, how high it was and yeah. you know for a young man coming up and these were older guys at that at that time i looked up to it's kind of like man i'm missing it you know like mm -hmm. they have nice job car i mean they get all the you know for the most part got got the girls whatever it is and so as a young man you're you're kind of looking to that as success and you think a high body count is a parameter for success and yeah. I tell you, they're, they're, they, it, it's, 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 it's glorified in many spaces in the world. And I love what you're saying because it's pushing against that mindset and that grain and it's pushing against culture saying, no, 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 no. Uh, that is not something to, to glorify. It's not, it's not a goal that you need to have in your life to yeah. have a high body count. No. So, I, yeah. I, 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 I have a final point. Mm -hmm. Um, the, there's a guy in a manual mm -hmm. called King Solomon. <laughs> and he had a high body count. I mean, my brother, I don't know who went higher than him. I, I don't think anybody else, I don't think. He had a high body count. My boy was off the chart. <laughs> he, he, he had such a high body count that he wrote about the negative effects of a high body count. I love that. You see? So I like that you said that that it is glorified. In the movies, it is glorified. And you have this passionate sex. And all the actors that they're acting out this passionate sex have poor relationships. They have broken damage. I don't know if there's an actor that has a long-lasting marriage. Yet, as you said, they are glorified. They glorify sleeping in bed and kissing and you are sold something that is not real. So this guy having a high body count made him right. It actually made it into the manual, the mm. negative effect of that. a high body count. Good. And then when you that find the good. negative effect, you want to get rid of the female. I like it. I, 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 you know, because that's, I just must, I just want to say that I like that you went there because it's too often glorified. It's too often looked upon as a great thing. His, his, uh, recording it shows the, the negative effects for both. Male and female. So well, I'll leave it to yeah. your final point. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to say that, although we might not have been finished with this topic, I just wanted to say that that, that the key here in discussing body count is discussing a lower quality topic. Hmm. It might be important, but it's a lesser topic. The hmm. greater topic, the more important topic, and I would say the most important thing that is needed for discussion is what is the quality of the husband that you are getting with? That mm -hmm. is the only big, huge, mm -hmm. important question that a mm -hmm. female should be asking. Mm -hmm. What is the quality? Now the high body count can tell you a little bit about that, mm -hmm. but a lady mm -hmm. should be checking what mm -hmm. quality husband she's getting. You have good husbands. Mm -hmm. You have mm -hmm. the other side, which is bad husband or no husband mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're not even mm -hmm. a wrong. Mm -hmm. Absent mm -hmm. husbands. Mm -hmm. What type of husband are you getting? That is what should be discussed. Mm -hmm. Stop mm -hmm. following the world mm -hmm. and the world system mm -hmm. that want to do things the way they want to do things. Ignore the mm -hmm. manufacturer and we turn around and want everything to work smoothly. Mm -hmm. When we want mm -hmm. to completely and, and, and just in his face 
disrespect and disobey the manufacturer. Yeah. No, it will not work. I'm sorry. It will not work. And those yeah. are my final words, no? Yeah, I you know what? I'm I'm going to I'm just gonna say that that question is one worth pondering. Uh, what is the quality of the husband that you are uh, engaging in about to get to it? That is the, the question I'm going to leave you with and uh, I'm going to leave us with. <laughs> yeah. Because it is the higher quality question, higher standard, the higher question to think about. Um, what is the quality of the person, uh, more specifically to the females, the quality of the husband you are getting with? Ladies and gentlemen, yes. this has been Marriage Matters. Because marriage matters, and uh, we've been discussing the battle of the body count, and I will see uh, what happens in the next episode. But for now, I have uh, been honored to be with you guys. This is Shane, and I'm out, and on the other end, Silver. Take All right, care. guys, we we'll catch you. See you.